It's called to the bullpen, where the Cubs deliver the advice you never knew you needed until now. Let's go to the pen. Chris Bryant and Anthony Rizzo are waiting for your questions. It's the bullpen. Hey Cubs, need a little help here. My buddy from high school sent me an invite to his wedding in Mexico. We're not that close anymore and it'll cost close to a thousand bucks to make the trip. Can I skip it? <laughs> That's a great question, Chris. Remember when you skipped my bachelor party in Mexico? Oh yeah. <laughs> What, was well, what happened was my passport expired. That is a great excuse there, passport. Just say your passport expired, um, and then you won't have to go. Don't go. You don't even talk to the guy anymore. Yeah, I probably wouldn't go. And it's a thousand bucks. Thousand I mean, dollars. That's a lot of money, yeah, man. and then you got to go to the wedding, and, and if you bring a date, then you got to pay for her, and then she's got to get a dress, and you got to get a tux or Jeez, a suit. I can't believe you're still mad at me for not going. I mean, I just wish you were there. It would have been oh, a lot of fun. I'm sorry. It's all right. I know I'm the life of the party. I think you would have been scarred for life. I've heard stories. <laughs> Bullpen. Hey guys, my boyfriend is a really bad kisser. Every time I try making out with him, it ends up awkward. I still like him and I don't want to hurt his feelings, so what should I do? It's a tough one. I think now that you're married and I'm married, I feel like when you get married, obviously this person is not married, but maybe they want to get there at some point. You have to be honest with your significant other. So whether their feet smell or they're a bad kisser, or they need I to think put on deodorant, or they need, you need to, to confirm honesty. That's a good this trait of staying married, right? To be absolutely. honest, absolutely, absolutely, love so, that. <laughs> you take this one, okay? Uh, hello, this is the bullpen. I was coming back from the bar the other night when my rideshare driver asked if he could stop at the drive-thru. I was so surprised, all I could say was okay. But then I stewed all the way home as he scarfed down a cheeseburger. Help confirm I'm not crazy. That was a weird request, oh. right? Uh, absolutely not. On the way home from a bar, fast food, and you didn't order anything, you are crazy. Amen. Do you live in America or what? I mean, come on. Bullpen. Hey Cubs, I was head over heels when my fiance proposed, but now it's been 11 months and we haven't set a date. He avoids the topic and makes excuses when I bring it up. Should I keep giving him time or is it time to walk out? Wow. He's not setting the date, I think that's a, that's a sign. Maybe put like a hard deadline on it. Like if we don't have a date by this day, I'm leaving you. Yeah, and then if they do, and he's like, all right, fine. I think getting married will definitely help their problem. Yeah. <laughs> this is the bullpen. Me and my friend like the same girl. Should I race to ask her out first, or should we have a death match? Oh, oh. That's a tough one. Maybe just give it up. They've probably been friends longer than they've known this girl. So... Just give it up. Be friends. Ooh, that's a lot easier said than done. Unless it's like Beyonce or something. I wouldn't race. I would just let it naturally happen. Yeah. Because if you race, she's probably gonna end up with your friend anyways. It's true. You know what I mean? I would love to see how that one turns out. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah. The bullpen. I've been growing out my beard for a few months and I think it looks awesome. My friends disagree and say I look like a drifter. Should I stick to my guns and keep growing it, or trust that my friends have my back? Ooh, buddy. If you think it looks awesome, you do what you want. Yeah, I mean, I agree. Yeah. You know? I think you look good in a beard, but you don't like a beard, so you shave your beard. But I look good in a beard. Yeah, I remember yeah. when you got drafted and you didn't yeah, have a beard. Yeah, true. I looked awful. No, you still look good. You oh, still have nice eyes, but... Thanks. Just embrace what you got. If you like it, it, love who you just are. rock it. Yeah. Rock it, man. Do you care what people say about you? No way. Thank you. Do you care what people say about you? No. Except no my wife. And me. And you. Yeah. Right. And Rossi. And Lester. And Hat. And Joe. Theo. And Theo. And Mr. Ricketts. My mom and dad. My brother. Yeah. Guys, those were great questions. Anytime you need help, you know what to do. Make a call to the bullpen. <laughs>